Bud Dog Walker. And on this episode of Do Bud Dog Walker, I'm going to be doing a Amazon <laughs> pet unboxing. Coming up next. founder, co-owner, and pet expert with Doodlebug Dog Walker, having serviced over 4,000 pets in our decade history, top 1% dog walking company in the nation, and uh, lots of awards for Washington Tony Magazine, Pet Care, Nova Pet Care Magazine, Angie's List. We got lots of awards because we care for lots of animals and we love what we do. My co-owner and our 60 to 80 dog walkers, depending on the time of year. So in this Amazon, ugh, it's heavy, haul box. I have my winner haul for our dogs and we have two dogs pork chop and applesauce and they are around here somewhere running around i feel like maybe when i open the box they'll come running but i was really stoked to do a winter amazon pet haul box because i wanted to update with the we live in virginia and if you're watching this in the united states uh, we've had recently in january and i don't know when you're watching this video you could be watching in july when it's 110 degrees but we just recently walked out of a negative one degree day um, of having really, really cold temperatures. And so I wanted to get a little bit more prepared for our dogs and show you all some of the products that we personally use. Like I personally use them, I personally vouch for them. And this is what I have. Everything that I'm getting and gonna show will be in our description link below. And by the way, if you like this video, consider liking it, consider subscribing to our Doodlebug Dog Walker YouTube channel and Facebook and Instagram, Doodlebug Dog Walker. So let's show you the first thing. The first thing I'm really excited about is a coat. Let me be honest for a second. Since I've been over a decade with Doodle Bike Dog Walker, lots of wrinkles, lots of gray hair from caring for lots of animals and having lots of crazy dog situations happen over the year, years, and one of which is putting on dog booties and dog coats and things like that. And I totally get it. With short hair dogs, you want to make sure your dog is comfortable. And we have a rescue. Her name's Applesauce. She is stubborn as a mule. And before we got her, we're sure she lived outdoors for a long time because she does not mind the elements of being in really, really cold temperatures where our dog... Um, pork chop who's got a german shepherd husky mix hates being outside but we got her a coat because she's thin haired y'all would you see how big this thing is it says on it it's 4x and the reason why i ordered it so large is she's a good 80 pounds and it was coming from china so i wasn't sure i ordered things i recently ordered this was also my package a workout thing and this thing y'all it does not fit my arm i don't know if it's made for a small asian woman from china to fit her arm it probably would fit someone else's uh, it does not fit my, it fits maybe my, my wrist so I was worried that was going to happen with the dog coat. So I got 4X. This thing is huge. This, this dog coat is way huge. Um, but that's okay because she's kind of a thick little thing. She's a thick milkshake. But I like it because it clips over her head. It's really simple. Like if you have a dog that's kind of ornery or if you have a pet sitter coming to have to do this, make it something where you don't have to like wiggle their arms through. I did a dog walk yesterday where I could not get the daggone harness on because the dog was wiggling so much. So make it easy. Make it easy for them to get in. And this is easy. Easy peasy. You put it around their neck and I wish I had applesauce down here to demonstrate. And then you just clip it around their legs on each of them. I like this because it has somewhat of a reflective coloring on it. So if we went for a walk, you could easily see my applesauce, my thick milkshake girl on it. It's got fleece on the interior, which tells me this is going to be really, really easy to wash. Um, it does have these straps on it to help go under her hind legs to keep it in place. <sighs> that sounds like a lot of effort, though. <laughs> I wish it had a better... Um, I wish it clipped easier, but this does clip behind the belly, so I don't know if you have to use these bungee, I don't know what to call them, bungee cords. I don't think you have to use those unless you're absolutely desperate. I think just clipping it behind the belly would work. Y'all, this thing is huge. <laughs> that is, I am I am almost six feet tall, and this thing is huge. <laughs> I don't know so that's her dog coat. That's Applesauce's dog coat. I'll put in the description link below if you're interested in looking at this. They had other colors, other sizes. They had a deal going. If I bought this, I could get a leash, which who's not going to want a good deal, okay? I'm all about getting a good deal. Where's the leash in here? It was two things. It was a harness. And I thought, what the hey? Let me try this harness. Here's what it looks like. It's blue, and Applesauce is a girl, so I feel like she might get a little bit confused here, but that's okay. We're, we're all about crossing boundaries here with, with colors and, and different things. But I like these harness. Um, I love harnesses, ones that are not complicated. And these, if someone hasn't walked dogs, or even if you have walked dogs, can look freaking confusing. Which way you put it on, where do you clip it, where does it go, where does the leash clip, because there's two leash hooks here. 
This is either gonna clip around their back or around their belly. I'm gonna have to play with it. Yeah, I've been doing this a long time and this is, this is a little bit confusing. There's only one clip though, so that's exciting. It can either clip on the belly or up on the back. Nope. I'm gonna have to play with this one. But this should clip around the belly. I'm just, I'm having issues with this. I'm having challenges. So this came for a super, super discounted. They're having a special going on right now, January when I'm filming this. It came with the coat, which is why I got it. And I wanted an extra harness just to have it. I like to have them in my car when I see stray dogs. I like to stop, try to get them, take them to rescues, and they need something like a leash and a harness to put them on. So this, I'm not sure if I'm recommending the quality of it though. The quality of this is awesome, man. Like this nylon is good. Sometimes there's cheapy things that I hate. The clip, let's see, the clip is super sturdy. I hate when clips like pop out. I had a dog yesterday that, Ooh, I knew I clipped that sucker in, man, and it's still popped out. So make sure that that has, this is this is good quality. I do like it. So the brand on this is P-I-D-O-G, Pi Dog. I like this, although I have to figure out how to put it on properly. Next is something I'm really stoked about. Y'all have heard me talk about um, LED collars. Well, I got one. Here's an LED collar. And I will show you in another upcoming video on me actually using it on our dog. I am so excited about this because we live uh, in a rural area. Oh my God, the batteries just popped out. Oops. This is real. Like I didn't open any of this. I saved it for the video. Um, here's the LED collar. It's great deals with a Z on and off. Let's pop this thing out. Oh my God. It already has. So they gave us extra batteries, which is nice. Can you see that? Is that, I should probably. I'm gonna do a whole video on it so you can see it in the dark, but that is awesome. So I can see her running in our fenced in backyard. I can see her running and know where she is because it does concern me a little bit not seeing her. If we go for walks at night, which I love to do, uh, I wanna have my dogs having reflectors and myself having a reflector, so this is awesome. I'm gonna put in the description link below this brand. I highly recommend this. The, let me turn it off because it's not blinking anymore. Oh, it blinks different styles. Um, the clasp on this, super sturdy, I like that clicks, you can tell it clicked in, and then here you can change it to the circumference of the dog. Again, my applesauce is a thick milkshake, um, and same thing with Porkchop. Porkchop's pretty lean now. He, his name is Porkchop because when we rescued him, he was a he was a big boy. Um, so in this, this is adjustable, which is nice. Other things that I got from my Amazon haul for winter is this. I love this. Our director of operations, Chelsea, um, at Doodle Bug Dog Walker, had recommended this product, and I'm obsessed with it. It's called Musher's Secret. Basically, it's paw protection. Put it on your dog's paws. It's made with um, vitamin D in it. No, not vitamin D. Vitamin E. Vitamin E. Vitamin D. Vitamin E. It's, it's, it's natural. It's natural ingredients. You take it, put it on your dog's paw. It helps protect their feet and the, the bad elements for cracking, splitting, breaking. They're walking through some hardcore stuff and yeah, they're animals, but um, I like my dogs to be a little sensitive, a little delicate. No, but this product is an awesome product. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. I'll put it in the link description below. This was back ordered. It was back, it was that popular. It was back ordered. So get it while you can. If you get it, it doesn't have an expiration date on it. So does it, let me make sure. So it's non-toxic, non-staining, safe, easy to use for external use only. Um, so we're not inserting this anywhere. Um, but for this product, um, I, I would recommend getting it and then having it for next winter because again, it was back ordered. I tried to order it and I had to wait several weeks to get it because it's so popular. This is the last Mamma Jamma thing that I have. <laughs> I think I just broke my table. Oops. Don't tell my husband. Um, the last thing I got is Safe Paw. If you can see that, Safe Paw. It's de-icer, it's pet and child safe for ice melting, number one selling brand, proven traction agent, safe for the environment, safe for pets, paws, eyes, and skin, safe on concrete and lawns, melts to sub-zero temperatures, safe on all decking materials. I'll tell you what, you have a dog walker or a pet sitter coming to your house, you best be having this. <laughs> don't let my dog walkers fall at your house. This is mandatory. And don't be cheap and get the ones that have toxins in them because that can hurt your dog and you're gonna pay a vet bill for it by hurting them. You're gonna hurt a child, um, having children who like play and pick up snowballs and throw them at each other, that's dangerous. Um, and it's also dangerous for our environment. So get the ones that are environmentally safe. This thing is awesome, it's a neat jug, but if you see at the top here, as a chickadee who's a strong chickadee, but a chickadee nonetheless, um, this, I like having this shaking agent here and you can flip the, the cover over it. But you can shake it, hold it like a little milk jug. Oops, 
some of it started to come out. See, that's what happens when you get too excited about your dog products. Things start coming out. I highly recommend this too. Again, it'll be in the description below. Safe Paws Ice Melter. It's a really, really good product. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Um, it is the number one brand. It's recommended by veterinarians, animal hospitals, groomers, shelters, humane societies. Um, on the back of it, it just says basically, apply to snow and icy services. <laughs> <laughs> distractions. It's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory folks. Pretty self-explanatory. And it's um, environmentally safe contents, which makes me super happy. Super, super happy. As somebody who has solar panels, I'm a geek about the environment. I'm a geek about pets. Um, I like making sure that things are safe and non-toxic. So if you like any of these items from my Amazon haul, Amazon, 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 um, check the description below. I love pets. I love, love, love pets. I love being with pets and I love getting things and spoiling my dogs. Um, so uh, I hope you like this haul. If you like it, consider liking this video, consider subscribing, consider sharing it on Facebook. I don't think you can share it on Instagram, but consider sharing it with your friends with their pet lovers too. Um, and below is all the, the items that I got. You can go ahead and order yours too if you feel so inclined. Wishing you a powerful day and check out our other videos at Doodlebug Dog Walker's YouTube channel.